Hey guys, Virtual Nunchucks here. Yes, I am working on Uncharted, The Lost Legacy. Um, but I came across something uh, that I thought was absolutely ridiculous and I thought I'd share. Okay. Uh, Young Ye, I don't know if you guys know about him or not, but he's a uh, YouTube channel, fellow YouTuber, who, um, who puts out content regarding uh, different news-worthy stories in the industry. Um, calls out companies for their uh, greed and, you know, just, just different things. Anything that happens in the industry, he puts it out there. And he cites his sources very well um, and everything. So I consider him to be credible. Okay. Um, he put out a video yesterday, and I was just messing around because I do. I watch other people. You know, I, I support people like Next Level Gaming uh, and and different channels around around the community because you know it's important. We should uh, support each other. Uh, even if you have millions of subscribers, you still should support your community that you work in and and, and uh, have have ties with. So so I try to do that. But anyway, point being is that uh, he came across a video uh, and he looked it up himself. Uh, also, of the microtransactions in Black Ops 4. Now, before I totally lambast uh, Activision right now, y'all know that I don't like microtransactions in games. I don't like them. Uh, I hate them, especially after the Star Wars Battlefront 2 pay-to-win progression system that was that game. Um... Uh, I absolutely hated that game, and even when they supposedly fixed it, we, my brothers, uh, myself, my son, we haven't touched Battlefront 2 uh, since they fixed the microtransaction issue in that game. Um, I haven't even looked at it, and I know there's a ton of content come out recently, Clone Wars and all that stuff, but I haven't even looked at that game because it was just so bad and so broken that I just haven't gone back to it. And I also don't play a lot of multiplayer games. I do it mostly for my enjoyment with my son uh, and the multiplayer Monday series that we do once a week here on this channel. But my channel is mostly single player experiences. So I nearly almost didn't buy this game uh, anyway because they didn't have the single player campaign that is traditionally with Call of Duty. Um, so I didn't... So I almost didn't buy it, but... My son likes Battle Royale, and I was uh, trying to get into that genre because it's something that he likes. And and I just couldn't get into Fortnite. I couldn't get into H1Z1. It just something didn't click. I haven't played PUBG, so I don't know uh, about that. I know it's out now. Um, but but this one appealed to me because it's Call of Duty, and their gunplay is always tight. So I went ahead and bought it. We've had it since early December. Um but Young Ye come, came across something in their uh, black market up here that, and I have not been able to find it. I have been looking, um, but again, it happened a day ago, and who knows, you know, what they put on there since. But he came across a reticle that is basically a circle, okay, like. You know how you have your reflex sight with your red dot in the middle to help you aim and, and stuff like that? Um, basically, that's what it is. It's a dot that you can put in your uh, reflex sight, it, but it's basically a hollowed out red circle. Okay. Uh, and they charge you about 100 cod points. For a hollowed out red circle for your reflex site. Okay? Uh, which is basically a dollar. You pay a dollar real world money, you get 100 COD points, and you can put 100 COD points towards whatever. Okay? Uh, I get that. Okay? And here's why I say this is okay. Microtransactions in this game are not horrible. And this is why I say that. I can support microtransactions in a game when they are purely cosmetic, okay? Like these outfits here, all right? Uh, the outfits do not affect how your 
how how you play it doesn't give you special boosts doesn't give you special powers when you buy a camo it doesn't make your gun stats ridiculously broken uh to the point where it's unfair to play all right uh so i support i can i can tolerate microtransactions that are for cosmetic purposes only okay the problem that i have with the fact that you pay a dollar for a reflex site for your gun okay because as far as i can tell i've been playing this since uh, early last month and i cannot earn cod points to save my life whereas in previous titles i was able to earn cod points as well as the different tiers and unlock boxes and have you know stuff like that and i could do it you know they gave you tokens to unlock crates for different things okay and i didn't have to spend anything all right first of all i can't earn cod points i have zero as you can tell but even if i could unlock cod points why would i want to spend a dollar and these two outfits here are eight dollars basically or 800 cod points why would i want to do that when i can spend an hour of gameplay and unlock the next tier in operation uh what do they call it absolute zero okay um why would I want to do that when I can play for an hour, unlock a tier, and keep going? Play Because you know good well, if you're going to play Call of Duty, you're not going to play for just like an hour or 30 minutes, unless you're me, and you have adult things to do, like work, and have a family, and things like that. You're not going, you're not going to do it. You're going to play, and you're going to play for hours at a time, and you're going to sit, and you're going to play, and you're going to play, and you're going to play, and you're going to unlock a billion tiers. Okay. And, I, and the argument for microtransactions is always... Um, you know, virtual, they, it costs a lot of money, man, to, to make these games anymore, and $60 per game doesn't cut it anymore, and so they have to offset the cost of production and the cost of, uh, of all this stuff uh, some way or another. Okay, yes, they're expensive to make, yes, the more graphics, the more talent, and the more, uh, you know, the more graphics heavy, the more the console generations keep progressing uh they get more and more elaborate every every game i get that and it gets expensive i also get that and there's millions and millions of dollars and i'm not a programmer i'm not a i'm not a designer uh, i don't know the the tons and tons of money that they have to put in it i know that they have to do it for marketing purposes and all kinds of stuff okay i, I get that because i'm a business major i get the marketing costs and i get the the, the millions of dollars that is and the millions of dollars it costs to to pay people and all, all that stuff I get that okay so I'm not saying that you're wrong uh, it is getting expensive to make games and we all love our games so we all want to keep our games and uh, before I go any further I want you to understand this is an opinion piece okay this is my opinion of something doesn't mean it's gospel but here's where I think microtransactions and Activision messed up, all right? There are two things. One, recently, as, uh, as recently as last year, I think it was, it may have been the year before that, Infinity War uh, was, was not last year, I don't think. But they re-released a COD 4 Modern Warfare Remastered PS4 version and uh, you could buy it with the bundle of Infinity War and Modern Warfare, and most people bought it for Modern Warfare because that was our favorite game back in the day, 10 or 12 years ago now. And everybody played that game. Everybody loved that game. I played it for the single-player campaign and the multiplayer that I could play with my wife and son here on the couch. So I was excited. I went ahead and purchased, not at full price, mind you, but I went ahead and purchased... The bundle where I could get in Infinity War, uh, the Infinite Warfare, and uh, the uh, COD 4 remaster. Um, I bought it, had it shipped to the house. It's here, and uh, I, I played it almost every day. But I didn't play Infinity War except for the campaign. I found the campaign very interesting, cool, awesome. Unlike some people, 
So I played the Infinity War, uh, or Infinite Warfare campaign, and then I went to Modern Warfare and played that campaign again, and played the multiplayer almost every day, because it was fun for me to do, uh, with either Ryan or, or with Public, um, for fun. And I'm getting to a point, so hang on. Well, I noticed when I went to the PlayStation, when I went to the maps, that it was just the base maps. Uh, the base maps that came with the original game. And they did not include any of the, uh, the, the, the map variety pack or whatever they called it. That you, when the game came out in 2007, that you paid for it. Again, if you wanted additional maps, you had to get a map pack, which cost you $14.99. Okay, most remasters of a game, most companies, when they remaster a game, they give you the, um, the the base game plus whatever DLC came with that game, and they just ship it to you or, or ship it with one price. Activision did not do that. Activision released the base game, made it pretty, made it awesome to look at on PS4, and it was. Okay. But then they wanted you to pay another $14.99 for the variety pack to get Kill House and Broadcast and Creek and all the DLC maps that they had released uh, in its original life cycle. Okay. I found that irritating to the point where I did not do that. I still have the base game. I have not paid a dime other than the base game and whatever cost I paid for the bundle that I got. When you get over here, and I'm arguing for cost of development here, okay? When you get over here to Black Ops 4, awesome game, okay? Yes, I miffed that they don't have a single player campaign. There should be a single player campaign for the cost of $60. We're all used to having that. We don't have that this time. I paid $60 to get this game, okay? So uh, to me, some of it's missing. It's cool that they put zombies in there. If you like zombies, that's kind of sort of like a single-player campaign. I personally don't care for zombies. Okay? Um, so so that, that was a hit for me. Now, I like the blackout mode, and I like the multiplayer mode. Okay? But there's no single-player campaign, so I paid 60 bucks. But um, if I want more maps... And more levels for, for zombies or uh, more characters uh, later on. I have to pay $49.99 to get the Battle Pass for Black Ops 4. That is almost the full price of another game entirely. It lacks, basically after taxes, $10 from being uh, or another full price AAA title. And all we basically get is more skins and uh, maybe some abilities to go with those skins, I don't really even know. Uh, but basically more skins and then a couple of more maps or however more maps that they're going to give us to play with that battle pass. That, um, in my opinion, that should not have happened. If you're going to have this store, this is where I was going with this, if you're going to have this store, if you're going to have the black market with all these transactions in it, Eight dollars for an outfit, another eight dollars for an outfit, two dollars for an outfit, three dollars for a camo, and a dollar for stickers, and a dollar for reticles, and a dollar for calling cards. Then you don't need to charge me forty nine ninety nine for a battle pass to get extra maps. You don't need that Activision. The only reason you put that in the game is because you're being greedy. Okay. COD, the, the, the Call of Duty community, which I don't necessarily call myself a part of the Call of Duty community because I don't play it religiously. I don't practice at it to the point where I'm like, kill you in five seconds or see you from a mile away and be able to shoot you. I, I don't play it like that. I play it as a casual experience, partly because my disability is the way it is. My reflexes aren't great. So I have to play it as casual, and I cannot get upset if I lose. I cannot lose my mind... Uh, and, and, and rage quit uh, because of something that I can't help. So I play it for fun. Now, as, as, as a side note, for fun, I might want to spend 
although I don't use battery that often, I might want to spend $2 to get a cool little outfit that I can't seem to get because I don't play it as often as somebody who's prestige four or five times already and, and had it since October and they you know, they just play it all the time. That's all they do. I might want to spend two bucks or, you know, eight do I don't know, eight dollars is stretching it. I mean, yes, that's a cool outfit for zero, but that's kind of stretching it. And that's a cool outfit for, uh, looks like, who is that for? That's cool. It's battery. It's another battery outfit. She's uh, dressed up as a knight, okay, from King Arthur's time. That's cool. Like that. But why, why charge us forty nine ninety nine? If you're going to have microtransactions out the wazoo for cosmetic uh, items. Now, I could, in theory, play this game. I've only got 10 more tiers to go, really. And I've got 46... <laughs> yeah, I've got 46 days to go about uh, 10 and a half more tiers, I think. Hold on. Okay. Wow, nope. I thought it ended at 100, but it doesn't. It ends at, uh... It ends at 114. But, I, but either way... Okay, I have 46 more days to play and get all the tiers that I'm missing. Okay? Okay. Do you know what that means? That means I'd have to play an hour a day for the next 46 days. That is, um... Basically 46 hours. And I could have almost, maybe a couple hours a day, to have almost the entire, um, see, and that's another thing. All of the, no wonder they, they have microtransactions in there, okay? They give you a weapon at about tier 100. They give you other items at tier 100 through, 101 through 114. So, in essence, if you purchase the tier for a dollar, you'll get, you'll get the whole thing, okay? But my point being is that you shouldn't have to charge me nearly a full price for another game when all we're getting is basically another couple of maps to play on, another couple of skins to play on, and maybe some camos to go with it. I don't really even know. Uh, and that's sad, because I should know. If I'm going to say something about it, I should know. But it just infuriates me that you're going to charge me almost full price for another game, but yet you have all these cosmetic options that you, that again, I don't have a problem with cosmetic problem with, with with cosmetic items. You want to spend a couple bucks on something? Fine, go ahead. For cosmetic purposes, that's totally cool. Maybe you have something somebody else doesn't have. But what in the world? Why would you do that? Because I can guarantee you, over the millions and millions of people that play, there is somebody that's going to spend eight dollars on an outfit. There's somebody that's going to spend. A dollar per tier because they just have to have it because they're like that okay at least we know what we're getting so you're not hiding it from us at least we know what we're getting at least we know what we're paying from it from it so there you go thank you for that okay but but I just don't understand the the need to, to, to charge your faithful customers your faithful community because that's what it is Call of Duty is a community, and they are rabid, and they are supportive, but you're basically messing them over, and, and I don't understand. Now, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I play this game all the time. I play it every day when I'm not streaming something. I, I play it, you know, at least for an hour, maybe two. Uh, I play it with Ryan a lot, don't I, buddy? I play, I play Call of Duty with you a lot, don't I? He's not even listening to me. He's watching YouTube. Uh, so we're supporting the community either way. But uh, it's just... It's just a pet peeve with me. Microtransactions, either A, microtransactions need to stop, or B, season passes need to stop. Or if you're going to include season passes, if you're going to put season passes out there, make them affordable. If it was a $10 season pass, if it was a $14 season pass, like it was back when COD 4 came out the first time. I might pay for it. Okay? I might pay $14 for extra maps. 
and skins and whatever comes with it. But I'm not going to pay you almost $50 for that same material. That's, that's crazy, that's insane, and that's greedy. When you have a microtransaction store staring me right in the face on the screen here. Um, you know, that that's just that's just crazy. Bring down your prices a little bit on your season passes, or better yet, give us a full game with the map packs as free DLC and leave the microtransactions, cosmetic transactions, cosmetic transactions in the game and let people buy what they want. You'll make your money back plus more and you won't lose anything. Because I guarantee you there are people that will pay for cool little outfits like like that. You know. Come on, y'all. This season pass stuff is getting out of hand. You're not the only one that does it, Activision. Uh, Ubisoft does it. Or Ubisoft, or how, what, however they pronounce themselves. They do it with Assassin's Creed all the time. Uh, you know, they, they put, they, they don't, they give you extra missions or extra whatever and, and all that stuff. And they put it in a season pass. And if you want to complete the story, you got to buy the season pass. Which, by the way, I bought Origins and I still haven't completed the, the stories per, per se. Because I wasn't going to pay uh, $40 or $50 or whatever it was for a season pass. I'm just not going to do it. Especially if I've spent... Uh, 60, sometimes, depending on the edition, 60, 70, uh, 90 dollars. This particular game has a $110 version of this game. Did you know that? Some portion of this game was $110. And I think that was in the PlayStation Store, and it was, it was, it was a uh, downloadable, uh, shoot, I can't even think of it, digital. It was a digital version of this game. I, I know this sounds like a rant and pretty much is. But my point was is, is, is microtransactions really are becoming too much. You can't go to any game anywhere anymore that doesn't have some form of microtransactions. Call of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 has micro transactions to a point, which is crazy. Um, I, you know, I, I know you can't. I know they're probably here to stay, and I know there's nothing I can do about them. But but somebody's got to do something about this kind of stuff. When it's fifty dollars for a season pass, it's you know, and then and then you have microtransactions on top of that. Thankfully, again, that this is the one saving grace is this is all cosmetic. So thank you for that. I appreciate you guys listening to my crazy rant. Um, but this stuff is just driving me crazy, and I don't. I hope that I'm not the only one that sees a problem with 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 as much money as we put out to enjoy uh, our hobby. Okay, we already put out sixty dollars plus the hardware plus the control. You know the hardware. I could have bought another controller, Activision, for the price that you are asking me to pay for your season pass for your maps. Okay, I could have bought another controller. And we support you guys. We love you guys. This is what we do. Okay. But y'all, y'all are gouging us, and that ain't right. Anyway, there. So there's my two cents. Uh, sometime later today, some Uncharted Lost Legacy will go up on the channel, hopefully, uh, to its entirety, its completion. That is my hope. And then uh, tomorrow, I will be checking on the. Um, I'll be checking on the community tab. I was trying to give you guys a couple of days to get back with me to leave me a comment what you think you want to see. Uh, so look at that for me, and then uh, I'll be responding to that and seeing what we can do. Um, so 
my multiplayer Monday, which will be this Monday. Hopefully my ear will be uh, back to where I can put my headset on, where I can show you guys my face, where I can put, you know, where I can do all that stuff and talk to you guys, because that's, that's, that's fun. It's always fun to talk to the community and talk to the subscribers and talk to the viewers. It's always fun. So uh, just keep that in mind. And if it doesn't happen, uh, if it doesn't happen that I that I uh, can't go live or can't use my headset, I will certainly let you guys know in some form or fashion on Monday, and uh, we'll just go from there until my until my uh, my ear is better where I can do that, uh, and then, and everything. And I'll also let you know about virtual mom and everything on Monday as well. So hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you are, uh, and I hope that you have a great weekend if I don't get to speak with you guys before then. Um, anyway, talk to you soon, and again, thank you for listening to my rant. I just can't stand microtransactions and, and some of the stuff that's happening, and I can't be the only one. Let me know what you think in the comments, okay? Drop me a like if you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Twitter. At the Nunchucks, Facebook.com slash Virtual Nunchucks, and of course, right here on the channel, YouTube.com, Virtual Nunchucks. And sooner or later, on Twitch.tv slash Virtual Nunchucks. Go ahead and follow me there, too. Uh, the date right now is tentatively January the 14th. Uh, but that will change based on what they tell us on Monday at Virtual Moms with the neurosurgeon. So uh, I'll let you guys know as soon as I, I know something. Uh, there, because I'm hoping to hit that date. Uh, I'm also hoping to have a new camera so I can use my Streamlabs and and and, and I have some really cool graphics and stuff that it, that graphic artists have been working on for me and different things. And I'm hoping to get all that fixed. So uh, we'll we'll see y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. All right. Thanks.